Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. This is Lori. Um, what I'm going to show you, and I have got a mess here, so you have to excuse that, but I wanted to get this into you, because I'll be doing other videos on it, and I don't want it to last forever, so I joined, um, Liani, Viana, or what she says, it creates swap, and it's tropical flutters and flowers and so you do some flutters birds butterflies whatever and then flowers tropical so i've been working on this and i've come up with some stuff that i've just had to say nope that's not working i did these um parrots and they were working out pretty good until I got to this part of the tail to give it another color. And for some reason, I just can't get it to butt up there right. So those are not going to work. But I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I can use them somewhere else. Maybe I can't. I don't know if I can get the tail off to fix it. I don't know. Um, I did these flamingos, pink flamingos, and I'm going to show you, I left one to show you how I did it, and then I did these butterflies, and where I messed up with the butterflies is I cut it and put it together and then realized I didn't keep one apart. But there's three layers, and I just used this die set. And honestly, I don't know what it's from or anything. This was how it was in a bag. That's it. And I just love this butterfly. So I just cut out the three layers, layered them up, put the body on, and that was that. Let's see, what do you... It might be kind of hard to see it. On that purple and the purple but I think it's pretty it's um central pearl some pink vellum and then like a red maybe a metallic paper so I like those they turned out good so those are keepers and I've been a little bit worried that this pink flamingo is too small. If he's too small or not. But I just think he's cute, adorable. So I'm gonna do the pink flamingo. And send it and hope that everybody thinks it's as cute as I think it is. Got to get that little bit of glue residue off of there. So I did leave. Of course, it's already cut out, but I left it so you could see how I did it I appear to be missing maybe I already put it on one of the layers is missing well I can always come back so what I did is I started with pink I cut out a pink well actually no I didn't I started out with the yellow um, where's my die for it? I only had the one die. It's not a layerable die. So, here's my die. So I cut out the yellow because of the legs and the beak, right? Well, I didn't. 
like how fragile these legs were because they're so thin and I thought, man, they might not even make it there without, you know, folding up or whatever. So I definitely need to add some support. So then I cut it out in some pink and layered that up and see, I just don't have any pink real close right now. Okay, let me run it through real quick. So, I'm just gonna cut the paper. And I'm gonna And this pink layer really was just to give it some support so that I didn't have to worry about the legs bending during the trip. So now, I don't know where these ink pads came from. Where's my pokey tool? Look oh, right here. I don't know where they came from, but this poor flamingo. His leg does not detach his foot. I have to cut it out. So I did that. That's what I did. Then, of course, we've got to layer it, right? Oh, and I got some new um, glue from Amazon and I'm trying it and seeing I don't know I don't like what I paid for it on Amazon but I needed it Kind of quick, I realized my other glues were running out. So I just went ahead and ordered it and thought, well, I, I want to try it anyways. And see. I will say that using it when doing my butterflies was nice because it does dry really quick okay so now I've got my two layers right so of course though we got to make the flamingos got to be pink so I just ran the same dye through again and now I want those legs to be yellow so I cut those off and I want the beak to be yellow and I can kind of sort of see an outline and that's where I cut now it's time to glue this on so here's this I found that I gotta cover this new glue every time or it just keeps coming out I don't know how to stop it from doing that. Okay. So there's his pink body, but I, you know, it's just still so simple. 
he needs some brighter pink on him. And the first one I did was this one. And I kind of left it full body and cut a little bit out of the tail. And I thought, mm. so then I did this. I left full tail and trimmed down the body. So, of course, there is a line. It's sort of, you know, embossed in the, in the cutout. But there is a line, and then you get up here, and the line kind of disappears, so I just made my own. And now, of course, I will just glue that on there. I thought about going to Cricut and uh, um, doing some Cricut ones. I not a lot of experience with Cricut though, and I thought I could spend forever. And I was thinking that maybe a lot of people will be using the Cricut. So. I thought I'm going to use what I have. So, and there is my eighth pink flamingo. And um, The way she's doing it is you could do two, two critter, two f flutters, and then you would have to do, th each person would have to get three of those, or you could do three of them, and each person would get two, and of course I was planning on three, so they would have got two of these, two of these, and two of the butterflies along with the flowers. Now I'm not gonna use the parrot. See, and he's so small too, like the flamingo. I was worried about the flamingo might be too small, but it is going on a card, so how big do you want it? I don't know. Anyways, it is what it is. Um, now I think I'm going to do, I don't know if I wanna do, the dragonfly from the dancing dragonflies or another butterfly but um, probably the dragonfly I just haven't really decided yet um, what I'm gonna do with it let me show you this real quick I don't think this video is lasting too long is it no okay this I have to make a baptism card and so I don't have any crosses surprise surprise I thought I did I would have sworn that when I was packing all my stuff up I had a really nice one but of course I couldn't find it nowhere and I and I, I don't know so I thought well I'll go to Cricut right now um, I don't know where my mats are but I have the maker three and so I have the smart paper that came with the bundle so I thought okay let me just play around and experiment with it. and then I realized wait that sticker material and I got those gilding flakes so let me gild it and see and I did and this is how it turned out Because I did the, um, you know, mixing all the different kinds together. Now, what I'm wondering is, do I want to take, because you can tell it's very flimsy, right? And you put it on a card, and it is going to be very flimsy. And it needs dimension on it. So, do I cut more out, add thickness bulk to it, 
or do I take my glossy highlights and give it an enamel look or do I emboss it and try to give it that enamel look so I am debating I can't decide yet on that. That's a piece. No, that's a piece of flamingo. Um, I can't decide yet, and I, I don't know. Trying to figure it all out, and trying to get unpacked, and trying to get organized, and it's, it's, but it's, you know, it's happening. It's getting done. It's just taking a while. Um, I don't know. Part of me says I oh, you should have waited before you started back up on the channel again. But I was excited about it and didn't want to wait. So here we are. And besides, how would I have shown you the dancing dragonflies if I'd have waited, right? Um, so I don't know. I have to decide what I'm going to do here. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. So that I can hear your suggestions. Um, I did glossy accent a strip of this, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. I was, I glossy accented, what I did is I just cut a piece of the paper, put the gilding flakes on there, and then, um, put glossy accents on it. It's just a little strip of it, and it looks all right. But I didn't do that for um, embossing powder. And I think with embossing powder, I'll have to do it, several layers of it. So, I don't know, embossing powder, embossing powder could be the safer bet. I don't know. But anyways, um, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you the reason why there wasn't a video up yesterday was because I was trying to get this all figured out and I'm not normally I would show you everything I'm doing and I'd have showed this appearance and making that mistake and all that but <laughs> this is for a swap and you know it's not for my videos I don't know he's still cute he's still pretty but he's just not perfect enough for the swap And he should be perfect for the swap. That's how I feel. Or as close to perfect as you can get it. See, I just couldn't get this. I just couldn't get this right here to butt up good enough. And I don't know why. If I need to just cut it at a, a different angle or, or what. But kind of paper piecing. I kind of like to do that stuff. But they gotta have at least two layers, she says. So, you know, we have the back layer, then the green layer, and then these two. So that's three layers, but just didn't work out. So, bad. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. I hope you join me again. If you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. All right. Thanks, and I will see you later. Bye.